Hey friends, so sorry it took me so long to get on. Little technical difficulties. Um, and I'm praying that my animals don't go wild because of birds and squirrels and all the fun stuff. Um, so I am Erin Foster. Hey Kelly, thank you friends for joining me. Make sure and invite your friends in here. Um, tell me your favorite lip looks. In fact, hey Raina, I'm probably gonna ask for some of y'all's input because I have started, well let me start first. Let me introduce myself. I'm Erin Foster. I am a senior um, diamond director with Bellamy. I've been in for um, three years now. You might have seen my face a few times because I love to share the love. <laughs> Um, not that I, I guess I like to prove that anybody can do this if I can. Um, I am a hairstylist. I have been for 20 plus years, so it's easy for me to talk um, products that I'm passionate about. And um, these products are something that I do love to talk about. So they make my job easy. But uh, the first one that I have started with, um, thanks friends, I'm so glad that y'all are joining in. Um, I'm excited too. I am the first of um, the series that we're doing of Meet the Products. And um, so Melissa, who is our wonderful CEO, has wanted to kind of make it fun. We want to share why we love these products and, and how we like to use them because everybody does things so differently. Um, and so when I was asked, um, would I share some information? Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be the first of these series. So I told the girls, I said, don't worry, I'm setting the bar low for you guys. Um, but I thought, what do I love to do, to use? Of all of our products, because we have so many, um, our lips finish off our look, right? And um, thankfully, the days of having to wear these masks are almost gone. I know there's a few of you that still do, and I totally support you with that. But I had this fun one that said, trust me, my lipstick is fabulous. So now I actually get to show you. We get to show off our lips and show how fabulous these colors are. And we have gotten so many of them. Um, so I keep, I actually have all the girls with me. <laughs> I have them all right here so that we can play with them all. So we have our lipsticks, we have our lip stains and our glosses, and then I even have the pencils because it doesn't matter what your favorite thing is. Right now, I have on um, this beautiful Napa liner. Mine are very well used. I didn't grab any new ones out of the package. <laughs> I'm using my own. Um, so Napa lip liner. Uh, I love this even with just a gloss on. I love it with the champagne blush. Um, lip stains, which I'm gonna talk more about lip stains. I'm actually gonna show some of the lip stains in a little bit. But my favorite is, and I, who knew? Like who, comment on here if you wear pink lips or if you're kind of afraid of it. Because I have learned to love wearing pink lipstick and I never in my wildest dreams. Usually I am a very basic throw on a lip gloss you see me on a daily and I'm gonna show you um, a little unexpected lip look that I like to use I'm not gonna give that away just yet but I'm probably wearing a Bella bronze or a Bella blush lip gloss uh, just because it's easy and it feels good so even if you don't wear a lot of lipstick you're not used to it throw on a lip gloss and it still makes your uh, your look so much more finished than to not wear anything um, but if you choose not to wear anything, we do have a new clear gloss that it feels so good. Uh, I will tell you, I went to the beach a couple of weeks ago and I love the pink too. Um, and these are lifesavers. They have shea butter and vitamin E in them. So they will protect your lips, keep you moisturized, keep them from getting chapped. So throw these in your purse and keep them with you all summer long. You need them. Um, but this that I have on right now is actually She's All That. It truly is the perfect shade of pink. And if you feel like 
you're not my skin tone, go to our Instagram page, our Bellamy official Instagram page. Um, you can type in Bellamy Beauty, you can type in Bella Lip Love, and you can see all of the shades of skin tones wearing She's All That, because we just finished a um, lip challenge, so I thought how perfect this is to end with that. Um, but this is She's All That paired with Napa. Our lipsticks are moisturizing. I used to not be a huge fan of um, lipsticks because how many times have you put on a lipstick and it, your lips are so dried out and actually like cracking um, by the end of the day? I put this on probably about three hours ago. I have not reapplied, I have drank, and I still have plenty of lipstick on. Like I said, I will, I, I don't know, I little to never reapply uh, my makeup. And I have gotten to be a fan of wearing lipsticks, even though I said I used to not. And um, I love at the end of the day, I will still have plenty of lip color on. I, if I feel like I need a little bit of a refresh, I might just throw on a little um, gloss. And it's perfect, yes. Not with Bellamy, you do not have to worry about that. I agree, Jackie. So, this is one of my fave looks. I'm gonna actually remove, hey Lily, with our cleanser that melts away, and I'm gonna try real, real hard not to remove all of my makeup. But I am gonna remove this because I wanna show you some of my other favorite looks. I wanted to start with this one because we all know how to put on lipstick, right? Um, if you don't, well, message me. <laughs> we can talk about that. But I do suggest, I love, I don't always use a liner, but I do feel like it helps keep it in place. It helps keep it from bleeding out and things like that. So I have just a little of my excess makeup on my beauty blender. So I'm just going to kind of blend that in around. And let me tell you, this is a huge pointer too. Whenever I'm applying my foundation, I will, yes, the color is so pigmented. Actually, you know what? Let's talk about these colors, okay? So I showed y'all she's all that. Goddess is also a perfect, like, berry. It's funny because it just depends on what I have on, if it matches more reddish if it, or if it matches more of the pink tones. But it's a perfect berry color. We have Chow Bella, which is this beautiful bronzy red, a lot of shine to it. Um, and then we have Empower. I love the names. And in case you didn't know, us partners got to name the lipsticks in the very beginning um melissa that's one of her missions she wants all of us to be a part of our products so that's one of the fun things that we get to do we get to name um like these beautiful lipsticks so this is empower which is a little bit softer pink still a beautiful pink if you're afraid of the she's all that start with that one um, this is Bombshell. This is the perfect shade of red on any single person. Like I said, thank you, Laura. Um, go check those out in the Instagram if you don't believe me. And then Barely There is this perfect nudish color. Um, yes, mine are well used. Sorry, guys. I didn't grab new ones. But, okay. So, tip. When you're putting on your foundation, just kind of blot that in on your lips and let it be. It kind of acts as a primer on your lips, so it will help keep everything in place. One of the like most important things you can do, whether you're applying one of the lip stains like I'm fixing to do or the lipstick, let it dry. Um, you won't even know that it's dry on your lips because it feels so moisturizing, but before you drink or eat anything, let it dry all the way because that'll help it last even longer. So I am going to, one of my favorites, um, I love to pair, this champagne blush is beautiful on by itself. It's just a very, very pale um, hint of pink on your lips. And I love to pair it with the Vintage. This is a beautiful combination, but I'm going to show you with the Cali Rose. Since I'm going all pink today, let's just... Let's do everything pink, right? Actually, before I do the lip stains, I'm gonna show you one of my other little tricks because this one will wipe off very easily. 
So, I told you how Bella Blush is my favorite. It's a perfect, just soft lip gloss, but we have beautiful liners that you can pair with it too. We have, I showed you the Napa. We also have the Tulsa, which is a good red with our bombshell and the Chow Bella. Um, the San Antonio is a beautiful, uh, barely pink. So it's a super easy look, but I'm gonna use an eyeliner. <laughs> I Yes, this is the cafe liner that I did use on my eyes, but I love to line my lips with it, kind of smudge it out. Um, that is one of my favorites too, Amanda. And back in the 90s, I felt like we almost did this right. We did like a really harsh line. Yes, I am showing my age, okay? <laughs> um, we're really harsh, like brown line. But the difference between then and now is we like to kind of smudge it out, right? We don't like it quite as harsh as we used to. So that, just like that, and then smudge it in just barely. You want to have a little bit of that shadowed look. Let's see how immediately it will almost give a little bit of ombre look. You can put the pink with it. You can put the Bella Bronze with it, which is what I'm gonna use right now. I like to just continue to smudge that in just a little bit. And I thought somebody was walking past a house. I was like, oh, we're fixing to have company. <laughs> so love that. It's an easy look. Um, I will tell you too, whether you choose to use the San Antonio or the Cafe, it will constantly have um, a little bit of hint of color all day long. These two, I should add, have um, coconut oil in them. So they are incredibly, you saw how easy that was to line my lips with. They are incredibly soft on your lips um, and last all day as well. So, okay, I'm gonna remove this, which the gloss is a little easier to remove, then the stains, which is why I wanted to do those last. And how many of you guys have said, oh, I don't like wearing stains, they, you know, are harsh on my lips, they dry me out, they burn. How many times have we put lip stains on that actually burn your lips? Well, if you haven't tried ours yet, it's going to make you eat those words, I promise you. I was the same way. It is much more mattifying effects than our lipstick and definitely than our lip gloss. Yes, but these do not burn. Okay, and you'll have so much, the same as the lipstick somebody commented in earlier, there is so much pigmentation. You get so much color from a little swipe. So don't be afraid to um, kind of take some of that excess off. And what that's gonna do, that's actually gonna allow your lip stain to stay on your lips. You shouldn't have a thick layer of stain on your lips um, if you are wanting it to last all day, okay? Stains are so much different than lipsticks. You shouldn't really feel them. It should be a fine, thin layer. Um, so the, and I'm gonna try to look at my phone, but I might be looking at my mirror too. So my favorite way to apply, um, and who knew, there's actually like an art to applying stains, but if you want it to last, there really is. So wipe off any excess. I'm doing the Cali Rose, um, which is this perfect rosy pink corally color. How beautiful is this for summer? Perfect summer color. Um, and it's beautiful, even of my darkest friends, it is beautiful on. So I like to line my lips and look, I am not trying to like follow a TikTok trend and overline too much, but don't be afraid, okay? Follow your line. If you are telling me I don't have full lips, make them a little fuller. It actually go up into your bow with your lips whether it's a stick, a pencil, or a stain, I love that we have this perfect doe foot, so it makes it a whole lot easier to line your lips, right? So, 
And same thing when you go under, create some fullness under here. And don't be afraid, whenever I'm putting on lipstick, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my daughter's name out there for a minute, Kinsley. She pointed out to me one time, cause her and I both, our lipstick can last all day. And people tell me all the time, there's no way, like a couple of hours. But we actually take the time, like we don't just like put it around. Actually draw out your lips on your face, line your lips, take that extra little minute or two in the beginning and it's gonna make it last so much longer. So I left the inside and I truly just drew it out. I'm talking a little bit because I'm gonna let it dry because like I said, we don't want too thick of layers on your lips. And then um, I'm taking the champagne blush and yet again, wiping some of that off. If you need to reapply a second coat, feel free. But usually I don't need to do that. I mean, you can see that shine from that coming on like instantly when I put it on my lips. And then kind of work it in if you have any little spots that you need to blend in and do that. Beautiful corally pink kind of color. You could have finished it out with a Cali Rose and loved it just as much, but I think it's so fun to pair them together. Uh, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to read some of the comments too. So if y'all had any questions for me, I could make sure and answer those. So drop them in here if you have questions. Or if you want me to pair um, together another color, I can definitely do that too. I can take off this and use one of our other darker stains. Um, I didn't know I would love this Midnight Plum so much. Um, my mentor, Jan, actually made me put this on and she was like, I was thinking this is not gonna be my color, but I have loved it just the same. And then we also have a red lip stain I should know the names of these, but I don't. Queen of Hearts, I totally knew that. And then we also have another fabulous uh, pink, which is the Fuchsia Flirt. Thank y'all, y'all are so sweet. So, okay, Shane, if you are saying that, um, so you wanna see the vintage and the champagne, I can do that. And then if you want to see, oh, thank you, Melissa. Um, the Midnight Plum is your favorite as well. I see a lot of people that are loving the Midnight Plum and it is a perfect um, plum color. You can use it by itself. I have liked to pair the plum with the, um, I'm putting the cleanser on, but then I'm gonna end up using the oil because these are a stain they actually if you use a little drop of the oil it will like melt that down like i said if you are um going to be drinking let them and look this is another trick too who does not love this oil on your lips because it feels so good yes another bellamy product but i can't say that i hate any of them <laughs> I'm digging vintage myself. Okay, a lot of you are saying vintage. So, let's play with the vintage for a second. I love the plum with the vintage, it's beautiful. The um, plum with the, uh -huh, somebody else is loving the oil. Um, the plum with the red. The Queen of Hearts is actually really pretty. Um, and my friend Holly, who is also a partner on here, taught me that little trick. It is surprising what looks great together. You are so right. Yes, friend, use that oil everywhere. It is magic. And so what would it not <laughs> be good on? Okay, let's play with this. I have had a couple requests for vintage, so let's play with the vintage. Let your lips dry all the way. We're playing right now, so it doesn't matter as much, but if you're gonna be going out on the town, you're actually gonna want these things to last. Um, yes, the plum and vintage is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna try this first, and then I'll go, I might just go over this 
with the plum and the vintage so y'all can see that look as well like I said create that cupid's bow and then draw it down so I actually go like underneath your lip right there It's kind of intimidating putting lipstick on <laughs> on a live because I have to make some crazy um, faces. Okay, I'm definitely going to do Plum and Vintage next because I've seen several of y'all say you never thought of it. So let's play with it, right? Okay, this is the Vintage lined. Without anything else, going to use the Champagne Blush again. And this almost, almost is the same idea of the blush gloss with the cafe liner but in a, a same form right so you get that little bit of shimmer and then um, that little like brownish bronzy look and i love an ombre look Actually, whenever you do your lighter color on the inside of your lips, it creates fullness. So that's one of the reasons why I like to do that. We all want that little bit poutier, fuller lip. Try it. I promise you're not going to be disappointed. Okay, I'm going to just, instead of removing this since it is a lighter color, I'm just going to kind of blot it. I mean, I hardly, like, I didn't even let that dry at all, and I hardly had any color come off. So, that shows you right there how good it is, right? Okay, and for those of you that are still wearing, you might have a little transfer because we are not alcohol-based, so it doesn't burn your lips. And, um, you know, you might have a little bit of transferring, especially... Um, depending on the acidity of what you're drinking or in your lips, but you can actually wear these and still have your color on your lips. Um, okay, so let's play with, oh my gosh, thank you, Lori. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, Shauna, you have to do it. You have to play with it. In fact, I want you to play with these colors. I want everybody on here, play with some of the colors, show me what your favorites were, and tag me in it so I can see it, okay? Tag Bellamy, tag me. I want to see them too. Okay. So, I'm taking the plum. Lining it right around the edges and you can see when I'm putting this on how you see a little like I'm not doing it thick at all it should not be thick you should have a little bit of transparency if you don't it's too thick and it's not gonna stay on your lips okay so if you do feel like you have a little too much go back wipe it off and then kind of carry on with what you have on there already. Lining around your lips. I'm excited to see it, Shauna. I love that you're all loving these combinations. And two, can I tell you one other little trick too? I do like to put it in the center, but just um, in the corners, but just barely. And when you're applying a lipstick, do that and it'll remove all of that excess that's right there because you don't want that to end up on your lips. You don't want that smudging throughout your face. So blot it on your finger. Obviously, if you can grab a tissue if you want to, but let's face it, I'm usually lazy and I'm just going to use my finger and then wash it off. Okay, so the Midnight Plum. Raina, you're too sweet. Okay, we're, and then we're doing Vintage. Wipe this off. 
I'm gonna remove this harsh lined look and look, kind of smudge it in together. I like it to dry most of the way, but I might not let it dry all the way, especially if I am pairing up a darker color like this. That way you can almost ombre it together. And I don't go all the way up to the top, but almost, because you want to have that dark to light look to it, right? So this is a pretty color. If you feel like Midnight Plum is a little intimidating for you, um, pair it with the vintage. I've never done the champagne blush, but I'm sure you could. I would just probably make sure that you do that little blend a little bit um, sooner before it dries all the way. <laughs> that is 80s for sure, right? But how many things are in 80s, like 80s style now? All of these trends are coming back. So, so fun with that. Love those. But my biggest thing I'm going to tell you, and I hope that you're taking away from this. I, I'm before, I wanted to include one more little thing too. If you don't like that dry matte finish, you can definitely apply any of our glosses with it. But if you do, it's going to take that staying power away. So you might notice that it doesn't last as long. And that's okay. Um, you'll still have a little bit of that tint to your lips, but you just might not have as much of a dramatic look. But, and also too, you can always take this beauty blender if you're like, oh my, I just got really carried away with that lining that Erin said to do. Get your little beauty blender or your angle brush that you use for your eyeliner or for your brows, preferably a clean one, okay? And kind of blot along there. I love that we have this like line that you can actually work that through there make your line a little bit stronger so that it doesn't um, you know smudge throughout the day but um, don't be afraid to use this you're just not gonna have quite as much of a staying power um, but I hope the biggest takeaway from all of this is um, yes it's fun I love anytime I get to talk to um, my Bellas and then all of you other friends that are on here but have fun with it there are no rules for makeup. I have people ask me all the time, you know, what is the rule for this? Trends are changing constantly. So don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Do something fun for the day. If it's something that you wouldn't normally do, you might be totally surprised, um, especially pairing some of these lip looks together and it might become your new favorite. Um, and that goes for anything. That goes for your eyeshadow looks, that goes for um, applying our glow drops, that goes for anything, just have fun with it. Makeup is um, just to accentuate our beauty, so don't be terrified of it. Uh, plus, any of us are here to help. Um, so I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. It has been so fun, and I cannot wait to find some uh, new tips with what the videos that we have coming. I think weekly, Melissa has uh, videos planned for us, so I can't wait for that. And I love you guys. Have a great Monday, and I hope you'll have a great week.